Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Aaron Blanchfield versus Man and Farad. Aaron Blanchfield, 10, oh, Jesus Christ, 12 and 1, 24 years old, 5'4 uh, with a 68 inch reach. Fighting Man and Farad, who's 11 and 1, 34 years old, 5'7 with a 66 inch reach. 2 inch reach advantage for Aaron Blanchfield. 3 inch height advantage for Man and Farad. We know what Man and Farad's going to want to do. Keep the fight on the, on the outside. Use her kicks. Uh, to set up her punches or use her punches to set up her kicks. The one fight that tells me a lot was the Aaron Blanchfield one is is the um, Jennifer Maya one. Because Jennifer Maya was able to not only strike with Farai, but strike while she was striking. So like say Farai throws a head kick, Maya you know blocks the head kick but throws the head kick. She was just constantly returning. You know, and she landed a very nice head kick on Farad as herself. Blunchfield striking isn't great. That's where Talia Santos was able to do some good work against her. It's not great. She's going to have a hard time getting inside on Farad. The thing that helps is catching kicks. So how much is Man and Farad going to be okay with throwing her kicks? How okay is she going to be with taking that chance? Of throwing her kicks, getting them caught, and getting taken down. Because even if Farah is able to work back up to her feet and defend a couple takedowns, if Blanchfield can get her back, if Blanchfield can get dominant positions, there's a strong possibility she finishes it right then and there. You know, Man and Farah being as she is at 11 and 1, who's tested her the most? To me, Jennifer Maya. I think Jennifer Maya is the one that's tested her the, 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 you know, you know, the hardest. Six wins in a row. Her one loss was her um, MMA debut, which is nuts to think about. Did beat Myro Bruno Silva back in 2021. Beat Jennifer Maya. Beat Caitlin Chukagian, Sarah Manera, whatever her freaking name is. Did beat Rose in her last one, but Rose broke her finger. So she kind of stopped striking after the first round, I believe it was. But uh, Jennifer Maya one is the one that kind of showed me that if you can strike with her and not let her get the confidence that she needs... Obviously, you're going to do better than that. Caitlin did a decent job, but again, she has no power and she has no like diverse, divert. You know, um, she's not really well rounded with her strikes, if that makes sense. But I think Aaron Blanchfield will have to, you know, um, survive a couple instances with like head kicks if, if if she's able to set them up against the cage. Aaron Blanchfield wins this fight. She, she catches kicks probably a couple of times, gets her down, beats her up, probably around four, round five. She gets that submission finish. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking and why you're picking them. Of course, we can talk about it. Subscribe, subscribe like, comment. Peace.